All right, so tell me about this tank. What we have here is my uh, Costa Rican Blue Dovi. Uh, he's in a 210 gallon. He's a six foot by two foot tank. He is eventually, and when I say eventually, we're talking within the next couple of weeks, he's gonna get moved over into this tank down here, which is my 300 gallon, which will give him a six foot by three foot. Plenty of size for him here. This has worked great for him so far, but it's time to move him above. He's a beast. Get, get him into something new. I'd say right now he's probably pushing about 22 inches. Um, 20 to 22 inches until I get him out of the tank and we move him I really don't have a clue um, and uh, as for how much he weighs I couldn't tell you but you know what I'm intrigued is there a reason you gotta bite me like this um, <laughs> one thing I wanted to note though that uh, he is a Costa Rican blue a lot of the dovi you see out there are Nicaraguan dovis there is unless you've actually owned both of them there is a significant difference in look between the two fish. Okay. Um, he, these guys are a much taller body. They're a little thicker. Their nose and mouth come to more of a point. Okay. Where the, the, I've noticed the Nicaraguans are more of a round mouth and they're much larger mouth. They get a larger nuchal hump from what I understand. But from what I've noticed, they're just not as tall body. Um, I, I like the blues because they just have more blue in them as well. There's no doubt that he's beautiful and he's the thickest one I've ever seen, for sure. He's, he's just, I mean, he is absolutely, anywhere I go in the, in, in the fish room, no matter where I'm at, he's following me everywhere all over the tank. He just wants to constantly bite my arm. <laughs> and so, can you get in there and clean with him or does he attack you? Nope, he, he's very good about that. When I come in here, to, to as soon as I enter the tank, and when I open the top, he's like, hey, you know, what are you doing, hey? You know, let's, you know, uh -huh. let's let's get out of here. But as soon as I enter the tank, he moves to the opposite side. And usually he comes over here. I go over here to start cleaning. He will literally just swim around my hand and swim that way. Just completely awesome. ignores me. And what's really entertaining, though, I find, um, is this tank, if you're able to get up here to the top, uh -huh. is broke. And okay, it's broke yep, because yep. he came up and slammed it one day and psh, knocked it all over the place. So I leave it open now because it gives me a spot to actually feed him. Yep. That's his spot to feed. I feed him over here, he doesn't come anywhere near the food. He sees me coming over here to feed and it's like a little game. <laughs> he comes up, he hits the food, he takes a whole mouthful. At the same time, he flips his tail around, he kicks up a lot of water and he splays water everywhere. Nice. So it's a game, it's a daily <laughs> game. But he, he knows it and that's just, it's, you know, I thought about getting rid of them a couple years back, but no, I, you can't. One, if you want to fish with attitude, if you want to fish with personality, Ampelophus are one thing, but a Dovi, I mean, it's, there's no comparison. Plus, he's got you trained now. He knows, he tells you where to put the food in, and... Uh... <laughs> he's got me trained, exactly. He's, yeah, whatever, I got him trained. <laughs> He's, he's, he's awesome. I, I wish he'd let me just, you know, if he'd let me pet him. I want to learn how to pet him. <laughs> but I'm afraid he's got a lot of canine teeth in there. He does indeed. And, uh, and he, I don't know if you can the see The raw the power. The raw power is. It, it is. And these guys are some of the smartest fish. So many people also will ask, well, can I put a dovi in, you know, with these guys? Can I put a dovi in with these guys? No, you cannot. Yeah. Uh, dovi are not stupid. They will sit down and they will sit there and study. Study the path, study the movement of the fish. Though the dovi may not attack right off the bat, it's gonna study that fish. It's gonna know what that fish does and doesn't do. And it's going to attack when that fish is least expecting it. And usually it hits them in the gut, busts the swim bladder, yep. and then it's all over and you know they're gone. Um, it's, they are very intelligent fish, very. And awesome. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please leave any feedback or questions down below. For any items featured in the video today, check out AquariumCoop.com.